Ever wondered why you do not score as well as you should when you actually get out on the golf course? Your short game is a huge part of that. And I'm gonna show you a really fun and simple game that you can do to see much better results on the golf course. I'm gonna show you how. The purpose of this challenge is to ensure that we kind of bridge the gap from practice to real life scenarios. Because most of the time when we're practicing, we don't have pressure at all. Because let's say I hit a crap shot, okay? I'm like, oh man, doesn't matter. It's a race because I think, well, here's my next go. There's a mulligan and I can now go and do it better. And it almost gives us a kind of false sense of confidence or that we're actually better than we are because we're sort of retraining ourselves with those shots, okay? We need to be a bit tougher. For example, this is where my first shot ended up. I've got like 20 foot to go, right? That was my first attempt. And now if I hit a putt, right? I haven't aimed it up or anything, but I hit my putt. Does it go in? Does it not? No. I would, in this situation, make a bogey. Here's where my second attempt ended up. You know, five, six foot away, an easy, simple putt, and I can hold it. Yay me, par. But I didn't really, did I? So we need to play a game that is gonna apply some pressure and some focus. For this game, all you need is a golf ball. And I would say choose maybe three clubs, because we're gonna practice nine holes. That's kind of what we're doing. Think of maybe your 58. I'm gonna take uh, 54, I'm gonna take my nine, and maybe I'll take my seven, okay, for a bump and run, and the putter. This game is 21 because that's the target score, because we're playing sort of mini par twos, just around the green. Nothing more than, I would say, 30 yards, probably not even 20 yards from the flag, but 20 to 30 yards is the max, but we're gonna add some variety. We're gonna do three, easy, we're gonna do three medium and three relatively hard. But here's the thing, you get one ball, one shot and a putter. We're trying to get up and down. That's the only goal. And we're gonna see how well you do with your score. First shot, let's just see where it goes. Pretty standard, pretty easy. We've got a par three here, so this is where we would be kind of short of the green, right? We've got a few paces before we hit the green, a few paces to the flag. So now I've got my club selection, and you can only use two, three clubs, it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you all the varieties that you can do. But I'm gonna actually use my nine iron for this shot, okay? So the goal of this is to get it as close as possible. I'm gonna keep my lower body to a minimum. I'm gonna keep my head still. And this is a semi putt, if you will, but passive with the hands, but I can feel the weight of the club. I'm choosing my kind of landing spot about here. I'm just brushing the grass and I'm going to try and get this close. A little bit feisty, but now I have to try and hold the putt. Look at the back of the hole, have a nice positive stroke. Two, par. This is definitely more hard, medium, medium hard, whichever you want to call it. But I'm gonna hit my lob wedge, but I don't have to hit it too high. But this is not an easy shot. So I'm going to try and feel like I'm getting just a, a good solid contact and the ball is just gonna pop up. I'm not gonna try and do anything too fantastic or too amazing. I just wanna get it up over all this sort of bank and let it roll out. But if I get an up and down, a par here, I will be happy. So I'm gonna do my Goldilocks thing, which is, okay, a little bit too hard, a little bit too soft. That was, I think, a bit too hard, but let's go with it. A 
Where did that go? I will take that every day of the week. Stop. So we can see that went to three feet. I would definitely take that any chance I can. I'm delighted with that shot. So now I just have to make sure that I do not screw up the little hole out here. But here's the thing. We can miss these, especially when we have not been out on the golf course and playing for two, three months. So I take my time, I go through my little routine. Yay! Good. So now let's make it a little bit tougher. That is gonna be brutal because I've gotta get over the bunker. I've got very little green to work with. I'll be astonished if I get up and down here, but we'll see. So I'm gonna use my 58 for this because I definitely wanna get some height. We do have a bit of wind into. <clears throat> you don't necessarily have to make it this hard. It's all gonna be relative to you. What you feel is easy. What you feel is medium, hard. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few more. Now, a lot of people, when they have a challenging shot like this, they think they have to be Phil Mickelson and really sort of loft it way up into the air. Most of the time, the most important thing is to just get a nice, decent contact on the center of the face, okay? Because if we try and get too adventurous, we can end up in all sorts of rubbish. We've got no green to work with. We've got a bunker that we have to contend with. So really, we want to try and play it a little bit more safe, okay? I don't mind if I go past the flag, that's fine. But I'm just going to make sure that I get a solid contact. I'm gonna have my weight on the front foot. I'm going to feel like I finish with my hands in the holster here. And to me, that's gonna give the, enough height with that positive acceleration. That'll do me. Lovely jubbly. I am delighted with that. I will take that one. Yes, please. Was that the first take? I'll let you decide. So let me know, are you actually going to try this little challenge? Let me know in the comments and also let me know what kind of scores you're expecting to do. That was not my best chip by any means. I called it a little bit heavy. Why? Because I decelerated. I stopped my sort of lower body. I just kind of used my arms. But again, I'm a little bit out of practice, which is why we're doing it. Hit it through the break. Oh well, never mind. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe to the channel and there is a free series. All you have to do is go to theartsimplegolf.com slash free. I'm gonna try and make this putt. I left it out too much to the right, but I got a really rough bounce on that pitch. But that's golf, isn't it, you know? Two. And that's a total of seven twos, which isn't too bad. And two threes, where I didn't get